Gav, as you uh, enter into a new season with a lot of new additions on the team, like Jordan, Bilal, all those guys, how is it feeling this year, even with a new front office? How is it feeling as you are sort of one of the rocks on this team, having been here for a while as their starting center, presumably? Oh, it feels good. You know, I'm very excited for what we are pretty much just going into with this season. You know, we came in early and we built chemistry from the jump. You know, I'm kind of familiar with Jordan, you know, and just with most of the guys that came in, just, you know, everybody was excited to have a guy like me on the floor, you know, just telling me, oh, yeah, lives are going to be there. We're going to send the defense to you so you can block all the shots, you know, the usual. But um, I'm really excited. You know, I can't wait for the season because at the end of the day, we got a lot of great pieces here. And we're just like the front office and stuff. I mean, sky's the limit for everybody. Everybody's doing their job. Everybody's really locked in to player development. Everybody's just really locked in to just make, you know, the organization better at the end of the day. So we're just taking it one step at a time. And with guys like uh, Gallinari and Muscala in now, mm -hmm. how do they make you better in practice, those bets? Um, when it comes to Gallo and uh, Moose, man, they for sure just really just, you know, dish out as much wisdom as they possibly can. Like when I first got, when we first got back, you know, I was working out and stuff, just coming back and forth. And Gallo came up to me. He was just giving me tips and pointers on just like making plays out of the pocket, you know. And it was just, you know, just little gestures like that is what shows just like how much, you know, certain guys on the team just really just care about the game, you know, and just really just finding some type of way to teach the next person, you know. And I'm always grateful for that because they're showing me that it's like, okay, I see that you're working on this. Let me give you a tip on how you can be better at it. So at the end of the day, I take it and I soak everything up like a sponge. So I'm, I'm really grateful to have like guys like that on the team. Hey, Gav. Where are we at? Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, first, can I expect to make sure my camera's ready for the backboard taps? Yes. Um, and then secondly, <laughs> um, when it comes to you taking that next step this season, what does that look like for you? And how can you implement it with such a young roster, guys, as – Bijan just mentioned Muscala and, mm -hmm. and Gallo. What's that next step for Daniel Gafford? Um, really just, you know, being poised, being consistent, and just really just being there for the next person. Because, I mean, there's a lot of frustration in this game. It's a lot of emotion. And for sure, like, with me, I've experienced that before. So when it comes to that, just really just using my experience as, like, a teaching moment. So whenever a guy, somebody is frustrated or anything, I can for sure kind of, like, you know, give them a pat on the back, tell them it's going to be okay. But at the end of the day, it's life. You know, it's going to throw punches, but it's all about how you throw the punches back at it, you know. So when it comes to that, you know, like I said, I just try to stay poised, stay calm, cool, and collected. It's my fifth year, you know. I'm not an old guy, but I'm getting old. So <laughs> um, just really just taking it one day at a time and just having a lot of patience with it. That's the main thing. And really when it comes to that, just teaching patience, that really helps mentally too. So. Hey, Gav. Mm -hmm. uh, happy belated birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Obviously, you had, you know, the elbow issue come up. I just, how are you feeling now? And, you know, do you think that you'll be ready, you know, near the beginning of the regular season? Um, you know, I'm just going to take it one day at a time. Not really do too much rush it, I would say, you know, because I, I want to just make sure I come back at 100% for sure. You know, of course, taking a nasty fall is like something that you don't want to do every day when it comes to playing pickup, but stuff happens, you know. But at the end of the day, I ain't dead. So, you know, <laughs> we are good. We are good. So, like I said, it's going to take it one day at a time. Um, the medical team, they're doing, you know, as much as they can with me to really just make sure I come back at 100%. So, we're just going to leave it at that. And just, you know, what are some of the couple things that you tried to add to your game this offseason? Um, of course, just really just spreading the floor for myself, making the court a lot more bigger for me, you know, instead of just, you know, catching lobs, rolling to the basket, you know, doing as much as I can to really just open up the floor for everybody around me, trying to figure out ways to facilitate the offense through my position when it comes to setting screens, being a guy up top when it comes to just like the offense, when we're running open sets, and just getting multiple actions in, not really being too stagnant, getting the flow of the game to really just kind of like flow with us as we're going and just playing as a team. That's the main thing, you know. It's not necessarily, you know, the stuff that I – Ad is for me, of course, but at the end of the day, it's all just really just like a team-based thing. So pretty much really anything that I can add for myself is going to help the team out in the long run. Hey, Gav. Hmm. Um, first of all, not being dead is a very low bar. You, yeah. should, you should raise the standards there, buddy. Um, so I'm sorry, what you said it was a nasty fall that happened. It was just in the pickup game? or Yeah, what? pretty much. You know. um, you've taken a lot of bumps and bruises and not mm. had to miss two to four. Did you know immediately that it was like? Um, initially, I didn't think so. But, of course, you know, I want to get all the 
stuff done, the doctor's office and stuff. He said it's pretty sure just take your time with it. So I'm gonna do what those I'm gonna do what those guys say. I'm gonna take my time. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you about all the new faces and obviously kind of new mm -hmm. chapter here. Does it make any sense to you that Denny is the longest tenured anything anywhere? Just Say that again. I hit the, the table. I'm sorry. Denny's, you're fine. Denny's the longest tenured um, Wizards player now. Yeah. How, does that make sense to you at all? In yes and no. You know, um, yeah, Denny for sure thinks he's like a real vetty vet. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but um, it does. It, it, it just feels weird. You know, it's Denny. You know, and I'm pretty sure everybody here that's kind of been around Denny, you understand that it's just Denny. You know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, like. Like, for anybody else on this team, I'm excited for him, too. You know, for him being the longest one here, it's just, you know, him having that experience with him and just really having someone, a chip on his shoulder to where he can keep that, keep it around in the locker room, talk crap to the guys. Yeah, I've been the longest one here. I can do whatever, you know? <laughs> do you feel like you, you have a good um, idea about the personalities of your new teammates? How, where's the chemistry level for you in terms of just having interacted with everybody on and off the oh, court? Um, when it comes to the chemistry, like when we had came back in earlier in September and stuff, just getting up and down and whatnot, you know, the chemistry just kind of happened. You know, it's like you can tell when, like, there's naturally something that's going to happen. Of course, it was kind of rough maybe the first day or two. But after that, it was just like bread and butter. It was real smooth. Everything was good. The atmosphere was good. Energy was good. Everybody came in ready to work. And that's just the mentality that I felt that was needed when it was coming into this season. Just, you know, coming off the, you know, a couple of seasons that we've had, that's something that is really for sure that I feel was, like, the main standout point for me. Daniel, what have you learned so far about Tyus Jones? Um, I learned, I've learned a lot. You know, real family man. like him a lot. He's real cool. Um, just on the floor, real crafty with the ball, can shoot it. Nice little float game. You know, Tyus and the floater, that's like a match made in heaven. <laughs> um, you know, me and him, we have talks a lot. Just really just like, you know, trying to figure out ways to get each other open, get each other shots. Um, from the last past couple of weeks that we've been getting up and down uh, before I took this fall, of course. Um, and just hearing him talk about things on the floor and what we can do to just make it easier for each other. Something like I said, when it comes to guys, it's coming up to me. Of course, it's like trying to help me get better. That's helping us get better at the end of the day. So with that communication with him just coming up to me, it was something, of course, that I was looking forward to. Either I was going to do it or he was going to do it. And for him to do it, it shows how like we really are just like locked in and ready for the season. So he approached you early on? And yeah. Yeah, especially during, like, the pickup games and stuff, whenever we were getting up and down, you know, there was always, like, some type of conversation on the side with his, either with me and another, another guy on the team or just anybody else on the team, you know. We're all locked in to, like, the small things on the floor, and we're just trying to make it better for each other. Uh, Gap, this is a team that's ranked uh, bottom 10 in defensive rating in the last two years, mm -hmm. you know, playing for Wes, who's a defensive-minded head coach. Being the sole anchor this year of the defense down low, how have you guys been working on implementing changes to the defense to hopefully improve on that end? Really just being a lot more aggressive, being a lot more vocal, and just being there for each other, you know, being tied on the string. Because at the end of the day, defense is what win, get, wins games, you know, of course, unless it's a shot at the end of a shot clock or at the end of a buzzer beater, you know. But at the end of the day, just really just kind of like implementing just like that togetherness when it comes to that end of the floor because, you know, from the point guard that's up top to me down there protecting the basket, it takes everyone. It doesn't just take one person. So those are the main, that's one of the main focuses that we're kind of like really just implementing in defense this year, and I'm ready for it. I know it's only a sample size, but in the pickup games prior to mm -hmm. the elbow situation that you mm -hmm. have, what was that like to have Kuz and Poole on the floor together, and, and what do you foresee as a possible personality for this team tactically? Um, I mean, from some of the things that I've seen, I, we really are, like, fast-paced now, you know. I, lo I love it a lot. We're getting up and down. Like I said, the competitiveness is there. You know, we just got to we just gotta get Kuz to stop calling the timeouts during pickup games. Um, <laughs> um, but other than that, you know, just really just seeing with just like the pieces that we have getting up and down. I mean, like I say all the time, I'm really excited for it because of just like the change of style that really has come to Washington for when it comes to the, bas the basketball side of it. And I see everybody is really just like locked in on both, both ends of the floor. Everybody's trying to make a stride to be better at something that they weren't better at before. And it really just stands out. It shows like how we're, like I said, locked into the player development side. And we're really just going to go into this season with a mindset to really just, you know, be at our best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm <laughs> Okay. Um, you mentioned 
Tyus Jones, this mm-hmm. floater, you said match made in heaven. Yeah. Um, do you think there could be something to the floater and you being able to throw down lobs and, and that being a good combination? Oh, yeah, of course. You know, something that I work on day in, day out. So, you know, got to take care of the little things for sure. <laughs> Peace. Y'all have a good one.